did peanut butter become a famous breakfast staple? We'll explore its beginnings, its rise to fame, and how it caught the attention of Elvis Presley, the king of rock and roll. Discover its history, learn some fun facts, jot down an historically inspired recipe, and hop on board for a quick trip around the world to see peanut butter's global impact. The Incas and Aztecs were masters of culinary innovation, transforming humble peanuts into a nutritious paste. Imagine a time when this paste was as crucial to their cuisine as flour or rice is ours today. Peanuts weren't just food, they were a protein-packed powerhouse, fueling the people who built an empire across the Andes. But the relationship with peanuts didn't end at the dinner table. In a profound expression of their spiritual and agricultural wisdom, the Incas also honored their deceased by burying them with peanuts. Thanks to modern archaeology, we've unearthed the truth about these practices. Peanuts found in ancient graves offered us a glimpse into Incan beliefs of prosperity, regeneration, and the cycle of life. In the aftermath of Christopher Columbus's historic journey in 1492, the Columbian Exchange would see the fusion of worlds. Plants, animals, and entire cultures embarked on a global exchange program with one unassuming participant, the humble peanut. In the 1600s, slave ships also carried peanuts and other plants over to the Americas. This move changed what people ate and how they farmed. In the 1840s in France, people started using peanut oil for cooking and lighting lamps instead of olive oil. They even made soap from it and nobody even really noticed the switch. Well, unless you were allergic to it. Eesh. From 1896 until his death in 1943, George Washington Carver, a prominent American scientist at Tuskegee Institute, transformed agriculture with his work on peanuts. He created over 300 products and promoted sustainable farming. Carver's educational outreach also advanced soil conservation and helped uplift rural communities. In the 1890s, John Harvey Kellogg, yes, that Kellogg, the cornflake guy, patented a nutritious peanut butter for patients at his Battle Creek Sanitarium, who required easy to digest, high protein diets. Boiling and grinding peanuts into a smooth paste, Kellogg offered an unsweetened, unsalted peanut butter for those who could not chew meat. The 1904 World's Fair in St. Louis significantly boosted peanut butter's popularity. Its success at the fair spurred mass production and distribution, cementing peanut butter as a mainstream in American households. In the grip of the Great Depression, peanut butter became a crucial protein substitute as economic constraints made meat scarce. Its affordability, versatility, and long shelf life made it a dietary mainstay, showcasing its ability to sustain families through the period's severe economic hardship. During World War II, peanut butter gained prominence as a practical, high-energy food for American soldiers. Its inclusion in military rations highlighted its nutritional value, providing protein, fats, and calories needed in the demanding war environment. Peanut butter also played a unique role in the life of Elvis Presley, the king of rock and roll. Elvis's love for peanut butter was legendary. His most famous indulgence was the peanut butter, banana, and bacon sandwich. In a note 
notable 1976 event, he flew with some friends and bodyguards from Memphis to Denver just for the Fool's Gold Loaf. A luxurious sandwich from the Colorado Mine Company filled with a jar of peanut butter, jar of grape jelly, and one pound of bacon. Oh my goodness. This episode showcases his indulgence in food and the lengths he would go to for his cravings. After eating that, I bet his insides were all shook up. <laughs> See what I did there? enduring popularity today can be attributed to its unique combination of flavor, nutrition, and convenience. Its high protein content and healthy fats offer a sustaining energy source that appeals to health conscious consumers. Its long shelf life and affordability also contribute to its widespread appeal. The largest peanut butter factory in the world is in Georgia, producing more than 250,000 jars every day. There's a phobia called acubutyrophobia. Arachibutyrophobia. It's the fear of peanut butter sticking to the roof of your mouth. Peanut butter was patented by Canadian Marcellus Gilmore Edison in 1884. It was on the menu for the Gemini and Apollo missions, and it continues to be a common item for astronauts on the International Space Station today. The world record for the largest peanut butter sandwich was set in 2012. It weighed 1,342 pounds. Groundnut paste is used in soups and stews, such as the famous West African peanut soup, which combines peanut paste with chicken, tomatoes, and spices. Known as pintakas, or peanut cheese, it's often spread on bread or crackers and sometimes topped with chocolate sprinkles. Mmm, that sounds good. Peanut sauce, or bumbu kache, is condiment made with ground peanuts or peanut butter, often served with satay. Peanut butter is a key ingredient in southern comfort foods, such as peanut butter pie. And, mmm, peanut butter pie. That sounds good. And it's also used in savory dishes like peanut butter burgers. Have you ever tried peanut butter burgers? Let me know. Peanut butter milkshakes. Mmm. its sweet tooth, Argentina enjoys Manticol, a nougat-like candy made from peanut butter which is especially popular during the Christmas season. Peanut butter is incorporated into pacoca, a candy made from ground peanuts, sugar, and cassava flour, traditionally served during the Fiesta Junina celebrations. Peanut butter is used in Caricare, a traditional oxtail stew that combines peanut butter with a savory sauce, often accompanied by vegetables and served with shrimp paste. Peanut butter, locally known as mamba, is spiced up with scotch bonnet peppers and used as a spread on cassava bread. Loved exploring peanut butter's journey with us? Smash the subscribe button for more tasty tales. What's your favorite way to enjoy peanut butter? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to spread the love. Happy cooking.